What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, bringing you guys a bit of a late night video. <laughs> um, I just got home from work like 20 minutes ago, and I'm really exhausted, but I wanted to make this video for you guys, so if I don't sound really enthusiastic, that's why um, having a grocery job just bugs the shit out of me. <laughs> anyway, let's just go ahead and get into today's video. Um, I'm going to be starting up the notification bay once again so without any further ado let's go ahead and get into this card and then we will get into the notification bay of the day so this card is coming out in circuit break and it is called struggling battle and oh i think i struggled to battle a giant explosion in my pants and enjoy that image because this card is so broken oh my god if this card's not a secret when we get it here in the tcg i'm gonna be very shocked because i know for a fact that trickster reincarnation is not gonna be no secret rare if it isn't that's really gonna suck but let's go ahead and talk about it here it is a normal trap card uh this is the card art right right here it has six samurais on it but uh, it's not six samurai support no 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 this is called uh struggling battle if you control no cards, you can activate this card from your hand. Normal trap card you can activate from your hand is always nice. If your opponent controls more cards than you do, at the end of the battle phase, make your opponent banish cards they control face down until they control the same number of cards you do. So let me just kind of break this down for y'all because I know Cap G was talking about this card and he was saying how it's broken in chain burn and everything else. I mean, let's just be real, it's broken in every single deck. Because here's the thing, right? Like you can pretty much run like two to three of these. Um, and let's say, you know, you're playing, we'll just say three for argument's sake. Your opponent goes first, they do rat combo, they go off, they just, they blow a load from their pants onto the field, and you draw for turn into struggling battle. All you have to do is go standby, main phase, activate struggling battle, enter battle phase, and yes, you can still enter battle phase even if you have no cards on the field, it is still a legal phase that you can enter, go to main phase two, now that you're in main phase two, you have no cards on the field, so now your opponent has to banish their entire board. And then you can go into main phase two and just pop off and do whatever you want, and you don't have to worry about what's on your opponent's board because they obviously have nothing. Now, in Chainburn, I left a comment on Capital G's video saying that I was going to make a video talking about how it's broken in Chainburn, and this card is actually very broken in Chainburn because of the fact of, well, if you didn't watch my video from the other day where I talked about how SEMA was wrong and that Chainburn is a terrible pick, then you should go and watch that video before watching this, what I'm about to say. But the reason why that this is good uh, in Chainburn, especially any rogue deck for that matter that is much slower than the meta decks, is the fact that this gives us an opportunity to kind of keep up with you. You know, it's kind of like the same concept of back when, you know, burn decks were playing gores. Um, I know me and my dad were doing that for a while. We were testing gores way back in the day because it was like, you know, the opponent would try and make a massive board. They would try and attack you for game, and then you could just drop gores. This was obviously before we had Battle Fader and so Scarecrows and stuff. So you could just drop gores and drop a token and you would still take the damage but then you would at least have two big beat sticks that your opponent would have to try and get around now with this with struggling battle it's it is good um but it can also be bad in a way depending on the situation because you know let's say your opponent goes into battle phase and you have no cards on the field and they attack and you activate struggling battle from the hand and you chain uh like let's say Swiss Scarecrow, you're not going to have any cards on the field, but yet you also had to commit two cards to banishing your opponent's entire field. But at the same time, if they don't, you know, if they don't really have a comeback play from that, and they wasted a lot of their resources on really putting cards on the board, then that's really going to hurt them. Um, it can also kind of hurt you if you have to use Battle Fader in that instance instead of Swiss Scarecrow, because now you have one card on your board, so now the opponent just banishes everything but one card. And keep in mind that the opponent gets to choose what they banish, so unless it's like, you know, you have an empty board, then you know they get to choose what they banish what they don't banish. Um, but other than that, this card is just so busted. It can also be busted in Chamber in 2, because if you think about it, let's say you went first and you have like four back row, and the opponent just pops off, um, they could attack you, and then, like, let's say right when they enter battle phase, you activate, like, a bunch of draw cards, or if they try and activate a card effect, you chain all your cards. You now have no cards on your field, best case scenario. They attack, you activate your struggling battle, and if they don't, if they can't OTK you, then you can just take all the damage. You don't have to worry about using, like, a battle fader or a scarecrow. Then when they end their turn, they have to banish their whole board. 
So <laughs> this card, this and Trickstar Reincarnation are, the, these two cards are my new babies. <laughs> like now that I lost Self-Destruct Button, the, the Struggling Battle and Trickster Reincarnation are my two new favorite cards right now. Um, until we get Self-Destruct Button back at three, of course, and then I can go troll people with, you know, Golden Ladybug in time and all that fun stuff. But let me know what you guys think about this card. Um, <laughs> does this card make you want to quit Yu-Gi-Oh? Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, because of reasons. <laughs> oh, God, I love broken Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> I still wish we had Self-Destruct Button back, though. This this card, Trickster Reincarnation, Self-Destruct Button, all need to be at three. And uh, I will be a happy, small yu gi oh -er. But anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching, as always, and subscribe. If you've not already also before i forget thank you guys so much for your support on uh perfecting chamber and i really do appreciate it and the notification base of the day go to kayo 777 and tabbers blissom both of these guys are the notification base of the day and again if you want to be the notification bay or bro of the day whichever way you want to roll all you got to do is like this video you got to subscribe to my channel be sure to hit that ding dong notification bell so that you can be up to date with every time i upload because you know i love it when you like it thank you guys for watching